Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. You and I are going to be going through this £250 worth of 50 pences. Hopefully find the rare and valuable ones that ones that are worth more than 50p. So let's get the bag open. And let the dog see the rabbit. There they are, 25 wonderfully sealed bags with hopefully some treasure inside to find. I'd also like to find some 50 pences for my album, trying to find every 50p that you can find in circulation. Need a Kew Gardens and then some Olympics. And other than the most recent releases, which is the Pride and the um, Memorial coin, I've got everything else, as well as all the two pounds as well that I do on other, other hunts. Although there is a 2000 and, um, is it 21? 2020 or 20? 20, 21. 21, 2021, two pound for a Tanya coin that uh, now I need to get uh, my hands on because I've been going on so long for this book to try and find everything we need to find that other coins have been released in other denominations in the meantime. But hey ho, such is life. We will get there eventually, I'm sure. You can probably hear Sir Poochington in the background. He fully agrees that we will get there in the future at some point. 2022, there's a Queen's Jubilee. It could have been a pride, but it wasn't. Been keeping them, so I'll put that down in the plum fine sections. And what do I think I'm going to find this episode? Or what are we going to find? Um, I'm really into the errors at the minute. Finding, and I use the term errors kind of loosely. Because there's always a debate whether... A coin is an error coin or not. There is Sherlock Holmes. So if you use the term loosely that an error coin is anything that shouldn't be in circulation, or there's a Victoria Cross the medals, or anything that isn't 100% perfect or isn't 100% as it should be when it was minted. So there might be a bit of extra metal on, or a bit of a, a line in print, or spun round somehow. Or what else could an error be? Just kind of a mistake, really. Something that should have got, shouldn't have gone into circulation, or, or shouldn't have got past the Royal Mint's quality control procedures. Yeah, if you use it loosely, I've been into them at the minute and seeing what uh, see what can turn up. Although I'd really like to find a shield, a shield like that with a year on that was not intended for circulation, that only came out in annual sets or in uh, like commemorative packs, were never actually released into the wild, as it were, for the for the general population. I'd like to find that. I think that would probably give me the biggest buzz finding a coin like that. Other than maybe it's a football Olympic coin, because I've never found one of them. Or, of course, the uh, the Kew Gardens. Although I have found one Kew Gardens before, many, many years ago now. Find lots of him, Jeremy, Jeremy Fisher. Jeremy, Jeremy the Toad. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what we can, we can get. So far, it's been pretty, pretty barren. And nothing really over face value. The, the Queen's Jubilee is probably about a quid. Quid's worth a coin. And I can't really see that ever going over that, really, for a, a circulated version. Unless you got one early doors, took it out with circulation early before it got scratched up. But if the intended mintage of five million and seventy if that doesn't if that does turn out to be correct and if they are all then released into the wild then it won't be, it won't be particularly scarce if you think of the amount of eec stars or nhs that still turn up even though you know that's 25 years on that's a that's a dictionary that's a similar mintage the the two i just mentioned been out 25 years and you still find them around about that five million mintage. Sure, or a Benjamin Britten, maybe that's uh, just over five million mintage. You still find plenty of them if you look for them. So, 
Yeah, can't really see it going much more than a quid. There's a 2017 Shield. So that's a low minted version. I keep some of these if they're in nice condition. Probably will keep that one. So just 1.8 million minted, but really not scarce at all to find. I mean, I bet on average, you'd probably find, I don't know, one a, one a hunt. Sometimes you might find two or three in a hunt, sometimes you don't find any. Certainly, I think out of every 10 hunts, you'll find, if I open 10 bags of 50 pences, so 10 full bags of two, 10 250 pound bags of 50 pences, I'd expect to find. Easy, I think, seven, uh, seven or eight. Even though the mintage is low, because people aren't looking for them. Only people like us, or you watching this, will even know really that they are low mintage. So, yeah. This one is not low mintage. This Benjamin Bunny, the one is spinning around, we want the Queen to be facing a different way. And then we might have 40 or 50 pounds worth of coin on our hands there. But as it stands, it's just 50 pounds. How many will I find? How many do you think I'll find? Have a little guess in the comments there, should you desire. Because the lady ever not here to play along with. So I'll just be playing with you guys. There's a 2017, is that another? Yep, yeah, it's another shield, that one. <laughs> so like I said, it kind of proves my point. I guess that one's in not very nice condition. That will just go. Definitely won't keep that one. But there, just sure, there's two that we found in, I don't know, how many bags? Six, seven or eight packs, something like that. So bunny wise, how many do I think I'm gonna find all together? I'm gonna say three. Let me know in the comments what you think. Or let me know, but just or just let me know whether you beat me or not. Wait till the end and then you can tell me whether you beat my guess. There is a Christopher Ironside. That's the original design or or a, or a design that was not used, I guess on the, uh, that was the original design on the 50p. And it went the other way. And went with that Britannia and not that. I think they made the correct decision. Even though that is a nice coin and a lot of people's favorite coins or uh, if not their favorite, uh, one they like a lot. There's another Victoria Cross the Medals. I use that one as an example. Not this one, that's just a Brexit. 10 million of them. Common as muck, this one. So this has got a mintage of just over 5 million, 1998, so 25 years old, and you'll still find them relatively easily. So I think in 25 years' time, we'll still be finding that one relatively easier. That's if the full 5 million that was forecast to be minted does actually get minted, because that's not always the case. I might announce how many they're going to mint, but it's always done on demand, or if they want to push another coin, maybe he's in front of it. Two commemorate another event or person. So there's never a guarantee until the mintage figures are published. Although saying that, there is, there is precedent for even having the mintage figures revised. It happened with the Great Fire of London a few years back. And originally said five million and then minted and then turned out to be just over one and a half million. Sure, I guess you never truly know until you know. There's a Sherlock Holmes, over 8 million of him. So over 8 million? Or is it 7.8? Somewhere between... Oh, that's going to be a go, guys. Sherlock Holmes is somewhere between 7 and 8 million. I can't remember exactly. This is this is just over 7 million. Oh, well, nearly 8 million girl guides. Come across that often enough. 2020, that'll be a Brexit or a diversity... It's a diversity. So you can complete the Brexity set, the two come out the coins that came out in 2020, Brexit and diversity. Such a shame there hasn't been many more coming to circulation. Oh, we've had that little flurry with the, the Jubilee, the Pride and the Memorial coin. But before that, really quite barren, nothing in 2021, just them two in 2022. Even 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 in uh, sorry, in 2020, 
and even in 2018 it was pretty pretty rubbish really considering the uh considering watching my cars Oops. considering how many uh commemorative coins were released commemorative 50ps never mind there's another dictionaries had a little bit of a dry spell there but did get three coins so another sherlock holmes people act first town this hunt and also a uh, scouts so at least you got a little mini set there with the scouts and the girl guides together people act is something different still got a few bags to go i'm still waiting for the big the big boy finds Aha. we have a book find Lady and uh, Lady M and I have been coming across quite a few of the Pride coins. Show you this Battle of Hastings. First time we found it in this hunt. I can go there. But yes, one for the book. Nice. Been a long time with the book find, really. Well, certainly they have not been, as we've been on the kind of last knockings of the book, really, for a, such a long time. It's nice to get anything. Yeah, plenty, plenty of prides about. And that was going to be one in my album. Nice. Right, last couple of bags there. Got another dictionary and another Victoria Cross at the medals. Also got a 2020 shield here. Let's put the Victoria Cross the medals in. Not something probably only found about 10. 10 or 11. And it's supposed to be umpteen millions in circulation. And I'm sure it will just be a matter of time. Before they do indeed, indeed enter circulation in a big way, just like all them 2019 shields we see. But for the minute, there's another Sherlock Holmes. But for the minute, they are pretty scarce. So I'm keeping it, I'm keeping hold of it. I'm not throwing it back. There's a Team DGGGB, unofficial 30th Olympic. Sometimes get them with it with a rotation on that side where. The edges don't quite line up. I have not been lucky enough to find one. Only seen one in a photograph. Yeah, that would be a nice find. Not sure what value they've got, but there'll be a few quid in them. I think there's a few quid in any rotation, really. Or any slight error. A bit like even the fatter writing on some of the 50 pieces where the die just wears out the die that stamps the coin wears out and the and the writing gets a bit baggy even there even they've got a bit of value to, to someone who likes that type of thing because obviously the writing shouldn't be baggy the die should have been should have not been used as another pannington at the tower the die shouldn't have been used to that extreme there's a 2020 Little flurry here, Brexit. Sherlock Holmes and a Paddington at the palace. Oh, it was nice to see Paddington turn up. Oof, what diversity in Brexit. Encroaching on Paddington Corner. Right, we've got one bag left to go. I can put these 50p's down somewhere. Lots of Sherlock's. So, if you're not already, please do subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Put a like on this video. Turn on the notification bell. Oh, there's the bunny. How many did I say? Did I say three? Well, I'm nearly there. Close enough. I'm, I'm calling that the win. So, yeah, put a like on the video, please. Uh, leave us a comment. Uh, all that good stuff, really. You can even become a member if you want. If you want to pay 99, 99 pence for a month's membership, you're more than welcome. You can join us. On an exclusive members only live stream. Oh, there's another. Oh, we got a nice little, nice little end to the bag. So there's another diversity. There's another diversity. And our second pride of the proceedings. So nice, nice, nice. Let's uh, let's make the. Mm, honourable mentions, I think the EEC stars and the and the Jubilee. They're probably the most valuable. But this is the uh one of them two will be going in the book. And it'll be 
This one. This is the shiniest and the least scratched shoe. Oops. Let's bring the book over. Turn it to the right page. Won't be long. We'll get it eventually, as well as the rest of these Olympics. It's only a matter of time, honestly. Battle on till the bitter end. Right, plump find. Didn't have an official, um, whatchamacallit, insert. So I used an old plum find one that Raptree sent me. There it is, just waiting for the memorial coin for the final 2022 coin of a commemorative nature. Right, we're all done. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.